Hi there, I'm Caleb Powell, Public Speaking. Today we're going to talk about alcohol. It's dangers, what it is, and how you can have a good time with alcohol, but doing so with safety and moderation. What does the average person think of when you say alcohol? A lot of people will think about the drunken frat parties in college, will think about a lot of high schoolers' parties, will think about the elegant wine tasting, or even going to the bar with your friends and catch up on the old good times. Alcohol can come in very different types and strengths. Strengths, that includes proofs. For proof, that would be of what 100 proof is, it's 50% alcohol, 40 proof is 20% alcohol, and stuff like that. For uh, alcohol, it's also called ethanol, and when you drink alcohol, it gives you the effect of being drunk, which, you know, everybody's probably experienced that. With alcohol, you have to be safe with it and do so in moderation, and that's what we're going to go over today. A lot of people say alcohol can be good for you, so I kind of looked into it. With recent studies, it shows that with moderation and safety, Alcohol uh, during a day can be good on the coronary system, which in moderation this includes for women, one drink a day is considered healthy, and two drinks a day maximum for men is considered healthy. Now what is a drink? A drink is considered four to five ounces of wine, ten ounces of wine cooler, twelve ounces of beer, and one and a fourth ounces of distilled liquor, which is your rums, your hard liquors, and stuff like that. Now, in general, a lot of uh, your moderation, it depends on your age, your sex, your weight, and your family's um, going with alcohol. You know, if, you have, if your family has a problem with alcohol, it's going to be different for you. Now, what kind of harm can alcohol cause? For moderate drinkers, alcohol does not suppress food intake, which it does get rid of your appetite. But for chronic alcohol consumption, it appears to have the opposite effect. It will get rid of your appetite, and then you'll become malnourished. You know, it's a lot of effects that come with alcoholics. They think, you know, I've been eating enough, or they don't ever notice, and then they slowly become malnourished until they realize they have a problem with it. To make matters worse, chronic alcohol obsess, abuse does not only dis displace calories that you need for your body, but it also interferes with the body's metabolism of nutrients, which has a big effect on your digestive system, your liver, and nearly every bodily organ in your body. Some diseases that can come from drinking alcohol is cancer. Yeah, alcohol increases the risk of cancer in the liver, the pancreas, the, brex, the breast, the larynx, and the esophagus. Another type is hyperglycemia, which raises the blood glucose levels, and kidney disease, which it'll enlarge the kidneys, it'll alter the hormone functions, and increase the risk of kidney failure. There's a lot more effects that come from alcohol, but I only listed a couple, but there's a very long list of things that come from alcohol. In your life, it's really not easy to have a life that hasn't been affected by alcohol. There's a lot of peer pressure involved. You know, if you come to school, you know, a lot of kids are doing it. So you're going to be thinking, hey, it's okay to drink. Well, like I said earlier, it's okay to drink, but in moderation. You have to do so in safety. So with your peer pressure, you have to be, watch who you're around. You know, and when you do so, you have to be safe about it. If you go out to a party, you need to make sure that, you know, you're safe. And if you have had a couple drinks, you need to call someone. It's never good to go out and drive with, have, with a couple drinks. No matter what, you get pulled over, you're going to blow above uh, the limit for drinking alcohol. You know, if you have drink, call someone to come get you. A cab, a friend, anybody. Because it's not safe. And that's another part of the safety issue. And with another peer pressure is advertisements. You go on the highway, you see a big billboard that has the, a group of friends having a couple beers. You have your advertisements on TV and magazines, on the internet. It's everywhere. It's hard to get away from alcohol. And I hate to go here, but even churches have wine for the communions, which, like I said, it's going to be hard to stay away from alcohol. If you do choose to drink, when you're out with friends, you can be the DD for your friends. It's not hard to go out and have a good time without having a drink. And there's always that option. If you choose to drink, don't binge drink. Have a couple, have a good time, and go home. There's no point in having that binge drink effect, getting drunk, and thinking you have to have a good time doing it by that way. Alcohol can help you have a good time and really can make a bad influence in your life. When being that, having that drunk feeling, your, um, your process of thinking is never the right thing. You would think, you know, I'm not going to have a big effect out of this. You know, you do something and it can have a totally different effect the next day that you think is going to happen at this time. Like I said, the big Part of this is moderation and safety. Have a good time with it, but don't overdo it. Thank you.